Hello everyone, it is March 28th, 2012. This is day nine of my Spartan Sprint training plan. It's a 60 day plan and it's in preparation for my race event in May of this year in Central Texas. And so today was a good exercise day. I did 10 miles on the bike and then did a uh, set of calisthenics including sit-ups, push-ups, uh, curls, French curls, flies, and so forth. Uh, planks. I'll put all of that in the uh, uh, description of uh, the video for today. Um, I also thought I would uh, change things a little bit and then add a couple things for viewers who aren't strictly interested in hearing my updates, I'm sure, <laughs> uh, for the one person out there who watches these right now. Uh, I thought I'd add some useful information. So uh, the first is going to be uh, resource of the day. So the first resource of the day is going to be a site I found yesterday. It's called ObstacleRacers.com. Once again, that's ObstacleRacers.com. I'll put a link in the uh, description. Uh, it's a great site. It loads very, very slowly. But the best part about the site is the section called Upcoming Events. And it's basically a list of all the obstacle races they can find or have found uh, throughout the rest of the year throughout the United States. Uh, and I think it also lists some things in uh, the UK. So, really nice resource. I recommend you check it out. Uh, be patient with the loading of the site, though. And then the next thing is tip of the day. So, here's the first tip of the day. Uh, pick a race, whatever it's going to be. A Warrior Dash, um, Tough Mudder, Spartan, whatever. And uh, use YouTube as a resource. Uh, what I found is that if you look up your race on YouTube, you can pretty much watch several or maybe even tens to hundreds of videos about your particular race. Not your exact race, but a Tough Mudder series or Warrior Dash series. And you, you, you basically can see every obstacle you're going to face in that race or that mud run. And you can prepare for those. Uh, you can prepare for them by figuring out exercises that are good for those obstacles. Uh, just knowing what to expect helps a lot. Uh, you can also think about what kind of gear might help you. For example, whether you want leather gloves or knee pads or goggles or, uh, or a spear that you might want to build to practice uh, throwing. Um, or, for example, with Tough Mudder, you have to cross a lake usually on a rope. And a lot of people get massive rope burns on their shins or the back of their calves, rather, from hanging from the rope and hand over hand. So you could get a uh, shin guard or something, maybe wear a thick sock or get a strap of leather to protect your, uh, your leg while you're doing that thing. So uh, that is the first tip of the day. Do, do your research on your race and you'll be more prepared unless, of course, you want to be surprised. And if you want to be surprised, then do not do any research. Go in blind and see what happens. Either way, you're going to have a blast. So um, I like to be prepared um, just because I'm sort of competitive. Um, but I could see the, uh, the allure of not wanting to know as well. So, And if that's your thing, then the key is just do lots of lots of exercises and prepare every part of your body uh, in preparation for it. So, And that's it. So hope you're having a great training day. Have a great day. Bye.